Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Grim, the Lord of Salt. Today, we will be picking up where we left off in Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. Um, we'll dive right back into the story mode now. Real quick to look at, we finished Chapter 1 a while back, actually. Um, well, one of the other types of side quests I didn't get to talk about is these side stories. There's one for each of the uh, extra NPCs you can unlock. Uh, they do require two to three cards, depending on the event. And you can look up the details. They'll tell you what card it is and what set to find it in. So if you don't have the cards, uh, go back and you wait for them. And I do recommend before doing these story, side stories, uh, leveling up your allies till they've at least got their second deck. I don't know if there's a third. I've never gotten one. But you definitely need the second deck be able to finish those side stories because they do need to be a little stronger but so far uh in the ones i've played i've been able to complete them all without too much trouble with the second deck so as you know when you play as your ally uh you can't customize the deck you have to use the one that they have all right so today we'll be moving along to chapter two hero town in danger So here we are back at the Hero Lab with Great Saiyan Man 3. Beat Note, Beat is our character. For those who are just jump, coming along, um, Note is his female archetype companion, who uh, we fought in episode 1 for just for sparring sakes. Uh, the two of us got to take on the original Saiyans from the Saiyan uh, Saga in the previous episode, so it'll be interesting to see where the story takes us next. Logically, it would be like an android, or not androids, but uh, Namek Saga-ish, right? Because you got to do Frieza, and the Ginyu Force, and all that. And this is his leggings, our scientist. You don't actually hear from her too much, uh, but she's around, and she's obviously a descendant of Bulma. So, uh, I got to admit, I like leggings. Uh, she's less abrasive than Bulma, and, and she has a nicer design, I think. So, I'd be, like to see more of leggings in future material, but I'd be surprised. And yes, then, of course, there's Anne here, who is, uh, well, I don't know if she's supposed to be Chi-Chi, or if she's supposed to be, um, oh, Trunks' girlfriend, what's her name? One of the oldest characters in the series that I can't remember, but, uh, yeah, it could be her as well, so, it's, it's hard to say for certain, but it's one of those two. <laughs> Everyone's descended from somebody, which is fine, it's, uh... It's still pretty cool to see these characters. Like I said, new characters are nice. It's, I like the franchise, I like the characters, um, and I like recreating the story in the movies and all that, I do. But I also like getting to see some new stuff every now and then, as long as it's not, uh, as it's interesting stuff, right? You, know, you don't want to see them replace existing characters with bad ones, which happens a lot, especially today. But, um, I mean, these characters are all interesting, they all got something going on. Um, so yeah, that's where we are now. Uh, <laughs> and these guys are just going off on, uh, what they gotta do next. There, there is a lot of, uh, the main story is a bit slow. It's a bit of a slog. Um, a lot of this dialogue doesn't seem like it's necessary, you know, it's, and it's not adding a lot of flavor either. <laughs> um, it would probably go by faster if it was voiced, but especially at least in, in potentially English, which would never happen, of course, these days. Um, yeah, but it's okay, though. It's, it's not a big deal, honestly. I First time around, I don't think I paid half as much attention to the story, uh, and I don't feel like I really lost anything from that. <laughs> you, you can definitely still catch... The, uh, well, the main story beats, no pun intended, for what's going on. For now, we're, we're still treating this like it's all an in-universe thing, you know, it's a malfunction in the game, it's not a big deal. We're not, uh, you know, fixing the timeline or anything necessarily. Uh, of course, things get a little real now. Like I said, Hero Town is under attack, so it's not just in the game world anymore, folks. No sir. Okay, now let's play a game. Win the Clash Impact. There's a lot of these in the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, 
they're easy in the beginning, but they get tough pretty quick. And you know, I got to the point uh, not too much further from here where I just lost all of them. <laughs> I wasn't. I had to play them because they stick in them. But all right, uh, we do have a battle coming up. Ooh, Vera Yamulus Popovich. The margins are coming. Win all charge impacts. That's a difficult. Uh, that's a difficult bonus. But it is one you want to trigger, so we're not we're not gonna focus on that in this video per se. Uh, well, it's I'll, I'll do it, but I'll probably edit it out. Uh, we'll come back to that later. We're gonna do the main story first, and the side stories later, because they will probably be in an extra episode. So you guys can look forward to that one. Uh, there's always plenty of side content to go through. It's always very interesting. I do believe the side stories are more interesting than the main story, but the main story is not bad. Kinda of nice to see lesser characters like Yamu and uh, Popovich get in on the action too. You know, it's and even Deborah surprisingly doesn't get utilized much in a lot of these uh, these time patrol type games. So I can I can approve of this team. Usually you go, you go straight to Majin Buu, but uh, yeah. And of course, this is a battle that uh, Great Saiyan Man 3 will be taken care of. So it isn't even up to us. <laughs> this isn't in the game. Sudden voice acting in Japanese. Alright, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A successful battle. It went pretty well. We got a Minamacha. What else did we get there? Ah, the Salsa Blade. And, uh, Friends First. Friends First is a useful one. Round 3 Rockets. Level 6. We got a level 4. We'll ditch that one for the level 6. And, yeah, and I was lucky enough I won all the Clash Impacts and this. Trigger the Ultra Clear, which will unlock the Ranching Story. We learned the Galaxy Gun as well. Very nice, very nice. And just like that, we were able to defeat the Burra and his friends. <clears throat> we got another story cutscene after this, and we did unlock the Time Warp. I'm going to save the Time Warp, we're going to come back to that later. 
I did in the uh, in between bids. I collected the Dragon Balls and uh, used that as well. So that'll come up later. Hero Master sure is strong. But yeah, um, that fight went pretty well. His, uh, we had to use um, Great Saiyan Man 3's deck. Not, that wasn't our own. So, uh, but he had a good deck based on uh, obviously the like Cell Saga heroes. Um, a lot of stamina support, which was a good strategy for a deck. Um, you also might have noticed the enemies in that one used an ability called Rejuvenation, which restored all their stamina every turn. Um, from here on, pretty much all the enemies are going to have that in story mode. And uh, and a lot of them are going to take advantage of it. So, I mean, in the beginning it's not too bad if they wanted to, and they're stealing our hero's energy here. Um, if they wanted to, they could attack at full strength every turn. Eventually they will. That's, that's just going to be how the the AI will play the game, but in the beginning it'll take some pity, it'll move the cards around a bit and conserve even though they don't need to, the AI, so that, that's going to be your first, uh, your first um, difficulty wall that you will hit in the overall curve of this game, it's going to be the stamina dream and the auto refresh that the enemies get, so don't bother building a deck for story mode that drains the enemy stamina, because nine times out of ten it's useless you know not all the time there are times uh that don't where the cards won't do that but especially for the more difficult battles uh draining stamina really is a waste of time so it, they're just not going to be affected by it so yeah um that's one thing to keep in mind on when constructing your deck as you're you're coming along and ca cashing in your tickets and uh, I'm building it along. So uh, last time we used the the Z Warrior uh, special ability, which is a very good special ability. Highly recommended, especially early game. It's very useful. Um, later game a bit less so, but uh, you guys will see as time goes on. As the game gets more difficult, uh, you really need to use. And like I said, it because it is a card game. It's it's bashing you in the head with the meta. And so you have to break the meta to fight back. You know, that's just the way it is. Balance is out the window. So it's unfortunate. As a fan, I would like to sit back casually and just kind of use my favorite cards. But instead, um, because it's a card game, I got to pick the specific ones with specific abilities and, uh, and run with that instead. So and it's still not bad. It's still a fun game to play. That's, that's just the way it's set up. And you just have to adapt to it is all. Now, this, this map's really easy. Because uh, as it stands, as any boost item, which is, we'll definitely be using those for story missions whenever we can. We got another charge impact. It's a hero master here. Oh no, he gives us an item. Sometimes they'll just give you items, or they'll give you a choice of item. You hope for tickets, of course, when you're first playing the game. Uh, tickets, unfortunately, aren't much good for me, but hey, it's extra zenny, so. A little bit, but it's, it's something. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're still looking for allies. We're building a team here, and it will be a pretty big team. There's uh, there's a number of what's known as hero avatars from Dragon Ball Online, which was another a Dragon Ball MMO that was never released uh, overseas. And that's where these characters come from. Beaten note, they're from originally that game. And along with a bunch of others. And so it's the others are the ones that we're going to be looking for. As we build our team. So there's quite a few of them. And, uh, and we got a gist of them when we... Okay guys, so we're going to continue on ahead with the story here. Moving to the next map. And here we finally got our battle. And uh... Yep, we've got a boss here. Boss difficulty. Defeat the enemy in three rounds or fewer, it's probably not going to happen. Um, but looking at the map, there's no alternate routes, so that's not a problem. So let's dive on in. Okaki! 
I'm not even going to ask what his name is in Japanese. I know what it sounds like it means. <laughs> the hero switch is reacting. We found an ally. So yeah, this is our first ally, Froze. Uh, he's the sharp-looking kid we saw on the uh, story selection screen. And as you saw by a peek at his deck before, yes, he's a fan of Frieza. Uh, can't say I blame him. It's a favorite of mine as well. So uh, yeah, his obviously his avatar is going to be a Frieza race. Uh, if you've seen the intro, you've already seen his avatar, and of course, you can you pick your avatars as well. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, the ally that he'll be. You know, Note has, he's a Saiyan, so he's got more Saiyan decks, and uh, Froze has his Frieza decks, which aren't as good as the one he's about to use against us. Unless there's more of them that have to be unlocked, I don't know, I haven't I beaten the game. But, uh, like I said, I only managed to unlock a second deck for each of these side characters. So we'll go in with this one with ourselves. Beat. Uh, we got a deck set up here. Um, I did finally get Team Gohan so we could start building up that ability. Uh, the rest is Android and Aaron Saga. I just wanted to show off some different abilities here for you guys. And uh, I also put some stickers on there. We'll go through that real quick here. Uh, stickers you can see down here at the bottom of the card. And you can see what they do by, you know, hitting the button. Uh, much needed support I got from the extra missions from the Hero Lab. So I definitely recommend uh, doing that if you haven't. Also, a lot of these uh, stat boosts I got from doing the puzzle missions. So you want to you wanna go back and do some of that stuff. And you want to look for stuff that's going to, you know, increase your hero energy. I didn't put anything on Nail. And uh, you guys will see why uh, when we get into the game. Um, and anything that recovers stamina, of course I wanted to get, um, and Trunks here, this is Adult Trunks is how he's classified as, he's not, um, he's called Future Trunks, now, there's only two of them in the game, they're both Super Saiyan, and, uh, he didn't have an uh, action ability on him, so I gave him Prince's Triple Attack, uh, so you guys should get to see that if the fight lasts long enough, and it's a boss fight, so I'm sure it will. But that's how you help you beef up your cards a bit, and that makes a huge difference early game with this difficulty curve if you're, if you're playing along and you're about to hit at this point in the game. So, and this is one of the first really tough fights. What do we got here? Boost of stamina and guard. Uh, let's take the round two run. Uh, for these, um, definitely one Zenny and hit points. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go with that for now. Bond and camaraderie are really nice to have for boosts, but it's not totally necessary. As you see, we got Neil in there.
Okay, so there you have that, folks. So it was actually easy to remember. And we got the Dragon Ball, uh, which actually was having a, a big help as well because it gave us a power boost. Uh, but you saw some of my new abilities in there. Uh, I used some transformation because uh, I unlocked the Dragon Balls last time. I was able to unlock um, Beats 2% transformation. Stamina reduction is better than the camera. Um, and of course, I got him and Team Gohan transforming. Transformation is good because he gives you a nice boost. Uh, usually activates round two. There are stronger ones that trigger in round three. Um, but you get the basic ones there. And we finally got Gohan team. And since we got that, we've unlocked our un ultimate unit attack for the hero. It's uh. It's, it's a little different for each class, but it's for the hero, it's actually a hero attack, which is very good, but it um, costs 10 energy. So you have to max out your, your hero energy, and that's another reason to use it. Uh, you need abilities that will give you extra hero energy, so that's another reason why I picked that. Um, and you saw the stamina boost I got from much needed support and all that was a huge help as well as the module, because Frieza does drain your stamina. That's that's his thing. He's a stamina drink. So that would, that made that fight much easier. Also, you got to see a fusion card. Uh, Piccolo and the L fusion is used not just for classic fusions, but of course, the Mechian fusions, Android absorption, Boo absorption, all that kind of stuff. So anytime you know characters merge together or something, it's uh, that's what fusions used for. So there you got the probably it was for me the first fusion I unlocked until I got. Some Go Tanks, uh, Go Tanks, especially Super Saiyan 3, is a very good fusion as well. Early game, but that's Piccolo. That gives you an idea. Fusion's even better than Transformation, because um, Transformation you have to kind of get lucky and get an, uh, an awesome on it instead of a great. If you get the awesome, you'll recover your stamina fully as well. If you don't get the awesome, you just get the boost, which still isn't bad. But if you're relying on that stamina, because uh, you hit the stamina drain with the Frieza then you need to get that amazing, and there's no consistent way to get an amazing on a transformation. So it's a risk, it's rolling the dice. Um, but with fusion, it's guaranteed, you'll get all that stamina back. You are losing a card, uh, but you're, the main card, which is the first one that triggers the fusion, and sometimes you can go either way, but the first card that triggers the fusion is the one that, um, and you see here we got an extra battle, which is not a battle, it's exclamation points it's just a clash of charge impact but um yeah so fusions are great you lose a card but they and they tend to regenerate stamina very quickly as well they'll usually get a stamina regen boost uh, at the end of each turn so yeah uh, fusions are great definitely go with them when you can uh they're always a really nice addition to have uh in your game you know Medium Hero Master. So yeah, some, those are some of the new ones. I didn't get to show you the other ones because it actually ended uh, much sooner than I thought. And the reason I wanted to show those other abilities is because uh, as alternatives. You know, it's tempting to run in and load your team up with Vegetas and Vegetos and, uh, and all that stuff, right? And Super Saiyan Gods and everything. But those cards are rarer cards which means that they're going to have really, really high uh, charge impact. It's going to be a lot harder to use them, especially early game. You know, if you're just starting out and you're not used to this charge impact mechanic, uh, it's, it's going to be pretty much impossible to use those. Uh, where you can use them, but you're almost never going to see their, their super attack because you're going you're gonna to fail that charge impact a lot. And especially in battles where it's really hard, you know, those boss fights, when they come along, it's pretty standard after about halfway through the game for boss fights that, and more difficult fights to have something that increases your card's charge impact speed which makes it even harder sometimes just straight up impossible to hit with them so if you're, you've got a faster than average charge impact to start with uh, those characters pretty much become unusable and that was the experience I had my first time playing through if you go back and watch the old streams you know I was lucky enough to, to get some Super Saiyan 4's that I was really anxious to use uh, I put them in the deck, and uh, and I couldn't hit with them at all. They, they failed every time. The charge impact was way too fast for me, especially at the time. 
Uh, there are things that can slow down the charge impact, but like I said, uh, there's far more that's going to speed it up. And um, in the long run, it's just too hard to use those. But if you have a, a card that starts off in another form and then turns Super Saiyan 4, uh, then you can have the benefits of having a Super Saiyan 4, but uh, without the extra fast charge impact. The charge impact will stay the same. So that's the kind of thing to keep in mind. So with fusions and transformations, you're basically allowing you to use stronger characters, but um, without having to deal with the, the extra fast charge impacts. You know, so eventually, of course, we will find ways to compensate for those anyway. And uh, especially towards the end of the game, you're just going to need the, the stronger firepower. But uh, we got a ways to go there. We're going over all the different mechanics because they're all there. They're all interesting. And, um, you know, like I said, you can go straight into the meta, not even into the meta. You can go straight for the strongest cards and, you know, and say, screw it, I'm just going to master this charge impact thing. And, um, and, and, you know, power your way through the whole story if you wanted to. And certainly, and that's, like I said, a lot of people have done that, and they usually skip the side stories as well. But, um, I like the side stories, and also I like the mechanics. So I like to, I like to explore, but, you know, I enjoy the game, and I like to stretch my legs out, and, and, uh, and feel the whole thing out, you know? And I know that sounds terrible, but that's <laughs> the best I could come up with at the time. Hey, it's early in the morning, leave me alone. Um, yeah, I like to, to play the whole game, you know? Not just half of it, or a third of it, you know, and to, to bully my way through it by basically cheating. You know, at least in my book. I mean, it's not technically cheating, but you know, to me it seems kind of like cheating. So. But, uh, yeah. And then, of course, this whole conversation is kind of pointless. We're just welcoming the new guy into the team. He's going to get his own jacket soon and everything. And uh, he'll be able to join us on our adventures. And so we're back at Hero Town for another cutscene. There you see he's got his jacket on. Part of the team. Part of the crew, part of the ship. Uh, it's a couple of kids looking for Nim. We won't find Nim for a long time. Um, we'll find some other kids, of course. Other allies that will become more Dragon Ball heroes. And uh, testing our communications out as well. Terra opens up. What could that be? Where the burn is henchmen jump through. Here we go. Things can't go wrong from here. And that, folks, is chapter two of chapter two. And you can kind of see what we're in for next. Next is that first major difficulty spike I was mentioning, Frieza will eat your stamina for breakfast and uh, in ways that you can't really accurately replicate you know, <laughs> with your own custom deck even if you had all the cards so um, but we're gonna go back and yeah you can replay story missions just as easily here and we're gonna jump into this event we unlocked for the next episode so see you there Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. Today, we are playing the subspace from Chapter 2 of Chapter 2, Hero Town in Danger, uh, following the Burra through the Rip. And we have found this new place. So what could be in store for us here? So this is flashing back to when uh, Great Saiyan Man 3 fought off the Burra, who flew away. Now... To trigger this, to, to gain access to this, uh, in that mission, you have to achieve the ultra, um, uh, sorry, the ultra condition, which is in that case is to uh, succeed at all charge impacts, which is normally very difficult. Now I've I've got very used to this game, so that's why I made it look easy. But yeah, normally that's going to be an extreme, uh, well not extremely difficult, but it is a challenge. First time it took me three or four times playing to to succeed at it. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say, but I, I, because I've beaten the game, I've gotten better. So if it takes you a while, don't worry. You know, finish the main story and come back to it. Don't forget. Don't forget about these little, new little areas because uh, this is where things get interesting. You know, and uh, we'll probably get some work out of uh, Note in here as well. Looks like a destroyed city. 
It's under attack. Tapion. And Minosha as well. So yeah, Tapion brings his little brother along with him into this story. And you can get them both. Tapion is in the game normally. Uh, Minosha you would have to create. And for completing this chapter, you probably do unlock him uh, from the character creation store. Or card creation store, sorry. So they're going to be our introduction. And these are the heroes we've unlocked so far. We can pick any one of them. Um... I'm gonna go ahead with Beat because I like Beat. He's up Beat. <laughs> we got the same deck we had in the last episode. Uh, it worked pretty well, so I'm gonna wait and see. Hopefully, it's enough. But they, there's, I know that there's some difficult battles coming up. Uh, we might actually use it. We can't use the camera. Okay, never mind. Let's say if there was any time to use the camera, now it'd be it. Uh, we're not gonna use those yet. We don't have a ton of these, right? Yeah, just three of them. Four of those, alright. Yeah, we'll keep those on the side for now. You want the money, because money's really hard to get uh, in this game. And, uh, and the HP, you just have, there's so many HP items in the game, you might as well just use them. Yeah, okay, so that fight was a little tougher than I expected. Uh, but you guys saw how effective the enemy strategy was. They were draining my hero points, which kept me from doing supers in that second round. And while also jacking up my charge impact speed, which, I mean, luckily for me, I'm using a team with common cards, so they didn't have a high charge impact speed to start with. But if you're using a deck full of high level cards, then that would have been a very... You're probably not going to land any super attacks in that fight. And on top of which, it, uh, little Minosha there was a bit of a tank. He managed to... Uh, he got multiple attacks per turn there and everything. So, yeah, that was... Uh, that was interesting. And, uh, yeah. That, that's how the different strategies can work out. And luckily for us, uh, they didn't drain our stamina, so stamina wasn't as much an issue. 
Uh, I did trigger the bonus, which in here is a whole extra section. You see, this is why you have to do the ultra bonus. If we failed there, uh, we wouldn't be able to explore what's over here. And uh, what could this be? Oh, it's a little pan. Defeat two rounds or fewer, but there's no extra paths. I forgot to check that last time. So no extra paths here. So we just have to beat it. We don't have to go crazy about it. So yeah, little pans hanging out in this little time vortex here. And, uh, and yeah, she's, again, her card's not in the game normally. You have to make it. She is, of course, practicing with Boo. <laughs> you know Boo? But yeah, you know, this is another little side candy. These little side stories, you miss a lot by not getting them, you know? Uh, it's unfortunate that the ones in Chapter 5 are damn near inaccessible. But, um, yeah, so... So make sure you check these out. This is something else that a lot of the Let's Players just straight up skip. They didn't even care about it. So. Um, but naturally, any, any side quests involving Tapion and Minosha is interesting in my book. I know that eventually Harutagarn's going to show up. And you're curious about what else they're gonna do, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm all up for it. Hopefully, we can handle Harutagarn. Uh, we'll find out. And there's, of course, uh, Kid Pan from the very end of Z, as it were, a little bigger than she actually was in the series at that point. But you know, they can only get so small with the character models, it seems. So uh, yeah, but this is her anyway. And we get to see her in action. And, uh, yeah, you actually get to beat her up, so if you don't like Pan, this is a good chance to, to vent your frustrations on her, and, uh, <laughs> and such as it is. But, yeah, these are, these are gonna be easier fights, but they're fun little fights, you know, another extra distraction, it's just at the end of the day, it's more tickets, it's more XP, more items, and why not, you know, you don't have to do these to unlock, uh, I keep talking about unlocking character creations, for the character creation store. You don't have to do these to do that. You know, all this stuff's unlocked already just for completing the main story. Um, but it's fun to see it in action. So I'm probably going to choose another team. Let's let Note handle this. And I'll see you guys in a jiffy. Oh, because we unlock Super Saiyan, uh, Note should have it as well. So, rock on. Oh, and because we're using Notes, um, We'll go ahead and put a bond bonus on this one, alright, so, there we go.
right, poor little Pan didn't stand a chance, guys. Oh, good stuff. What do we get from the sticker? Uh, whistle, huh? Probably yeah. the ability. Round three reward. Uh, power level reduction module. All right, I'm gonna say power level reduction. That's a useful round three. <laughs> All right, we do still get XP even though we didn't participate. And here's that uh, bond boost. And we got the uh, throws leveling up, note leveling up. Lots of level. Learn, learn death beam. Good stuff. Good stuff. And Pan, yep, poor girl didn't stand a chance. <laughs> She's not through yet, there's more to go. Um, yeah, fun little side quest, and it's fun to, to use your allies as well. Like I said, you want them to level up, because eventually what they'll do is they'll go up in class, and it'll, it'll tell you when they're doing also. Usually, uh, when they do, they'll change appearance, so... Uh, there's that to keep track of here, you can see who she brought a partner. Oh, and they want us to attack first in each round, so we have to get a fairly high uh, power level per turn here. Boo was in on our secret the whole time. Um, so yeah, uh, that shows you again just how effective fusions are, you know, um, that, that complete stamina recovery and the damage they do. They got always got strong attacks. Uh, yeah, they're very extremely useful. Especially to trigger them in round two. I don't think any triggered in round three. It'd be weird if they did, but. Oob! Early Oob was his first appearance. Um, you get both Oobs in this game, which is nice. I think that's a first for a DBZ game. Usually you either get this Oob or you get the GT Oob. Well, actually, I guess Infinite World had both, didn't it? never actually played Infinite World, so... But yeah, you don't usually get them both. Yeah, we're supposed to be splitting up, you know, Blue fights Oob, and we fight Pan again. So this time, once again, and it does alter the prize type as well, you can see she gets accessories, he gets uh, card creation stuff, so we'll go ahead with Froze this time. He's his dose. Right off the bat, obviously, uh... Not as good as the deck he used against us, right guys? <laughs> There's no freeze in this one. But he's got Cooler, who, you know, is Cooler, so... And the Ginyu Force. If you have the complete Ginyu Force, you actually do have a team attack uh, requiring 10 energy hero points. So that's actually very good, so... That's something to keep in mind. Same as last time, we'll go ahead and use the Bond. And let's get rolling. Ginyu Zantai! Whatever the hell they call it. Go Ginyu Force! Ginyu Force move, Ginyu Force move.